Okay, so it comes in three pieces. All you need to do is drop this down back here. First piece is this, this is the subwoofer side. You have to pull this piece of trim out and then it just tucks in nice and neat under that. Same thing all the way around. I had to use a trim tool to work it around back through here where the trim connects, but it should go nice and smooth underneath it. The middle piece is a little tricky. It goes under this metal piece here and then underneath, I don't know if you can see it in here. There, it actually, there's some holes that go over the bolts that are down in there to hold it underneath. This part was tricky. I'd use a pretty heavy trim tool to get this in all the way through here, but that's where that threshold piece goes. And you can still use your mat and everything here. The only other thing you do have to do is you have to pop out your bolts. I don't have the original carpet in here because I have my my fridge back here, but for the passenger or the driver's side, you have to take these bolts out so that you can get this underneath that there. I'll show you that here on the other side in a second. So here we are on the passenger side. Again, same thing, holes down in here. Trim goes under this metal piece here. Make sure you get it. Let's see if I can get a better picture of that. So here's the plastic part. There's a metal piece here, and this goes right under that. And then again in the back, you just have to pop the bolts out to get the trim in underneath there and just work it around back in here. Getting it in wasn't hard. The hardest part was actually that piece right there, getting that in. Everything else was pretty simple. It didn't take too long. And I think it looks pretty good. Definitely goes better with the floor in here.